The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 34. Nasdaq's flat. S&P's up 3.5. Gold contract down $28, trading 18.46 an ounce. You get silver down 59 cents, $24.14 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 43 cents, $46.05 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 years down. Uh, 10 ticks, 137.16. The 30 years off a full point at 172.03. And King Dollar. King Dollar's down 76 ticks, trading 90.88. And there's that divergence, folks. You got gold and the dollar down. We'll see where this uh, baby shakes out. Euro's up 121. Yours trading at 121. Yen is at 104.23. And the British pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Boy, we got a lot going on in this market, man, right near all-time highs. The IPOs are coming for all those all-time high valuations. Uh, pretty cool. And then stimulus, right? You got the Secretary of the Treasury in there with the White House back in the fray. Um, got to love all those variables coming and into play right now. There's no doubt. Now, you know, listening to your show, the thing that's amazing, folks, is that you know, Tesla is the king of the world, no doubt. And, you know, these IPOs are coming out. Uh, less than they, – they're coming out of the highs, yeah. no doubt about that. But uh, good old uh, – uh, Musk has you just send some paper out and get $5 billion in a heartbeat. Pretty cool, Seriously, man. Seriously, right? DoorDash is like, they, they're way above what they thought. $3.5 billion they're raising. Airbnb firing all, all cylinders, considering what's going on, 3.1. And Tesla's like, we'll take $5 billion cash and put it in the coffers, totally. please. And you know what? Let's let's make sure the share price just stays where it is while we do that. Perfect. Totally. Thank you. Let's get over to our man, Mr. <laughs> Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And folks, if you want to understand the option market, Option strategies, futures, outstanding program here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't test driven the thickest wood platform, very easy to do. You're sitting on the website, hit the banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade the paper money and follow Kevin and his team every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Uh, yeah, there's a fair amount going on, actually, for a moderate uh, Wednesday. But that being said... This market is waiting for two things. It's waiting for good news on the coronavirus. It's waiting for a stimulus package. Besides that, you know, pretty uh, good wave, tidal wave of people like at Disney this morning. We're going to focus on Disney in the first part of Fast Market today. And uh, I count one, two, three, four, five, six firms upgrading Disney this morning. Yeah, and it, it totally makes sense, too, man. The bottom line is that... You know, this, uh, you know, vaccines coming in, the bottom line, six months is nothing in the marketplace. You know, right. I, I, I want to switch gears on you just for a second. Not to really switch gears, yeah. Kevin, but talk about the, because I was listening yesterday. And if, can you explain, it was, I, I think this trade you got is amazing on Pfizer, that you sell them a cash secured put. And then if you got put to it, you're going to start selling calls. So can you walk us through that? Because it, it, we know, we'll, well, we don't know we're going to get a pullback, but the bottom line is I thought it was a pretty cool trade. Well, here's the, the idea of the cash secure put. Let's say Pfizer is currently trading 4220 right now where it is. Right? Yes. And your first instinct is, well, when this stock backs off, I may want to buy some. Right. So maybe I put in a good till cancel order at $38. Yeah. Right. And I put it in good till cancel and that stays in there for six months. Right. What a good till cancel stays in or till it expires which it's six months okay so the alternative is pfizer can trade around there trade around if it gets down to 38 dollars, you fill at 38 dollars. yes what our suggestion is to do is go out two weeks sell the 38 strike price put yes right yeah which because 18 days or december 18th nine days from now that move is about four dollars. Right. The Thirty-eight puts trading about, you know, today it's trading about twenty-two cents. Yeah. If you go out further, if you go out to the end of the year, I believe our, our trade was to the end of the year. Yeah, and you, we you had like seventy-five cents. Trading, 
yeah. almost 57 cents. Okay. Yeah. Right? So if it gets down there to 38 and you get put to stock, your price isn't 38. It's 38 minus the amount of premium you took in on that put. Sure. Which right. Which takes you about to 37 and a half. Yep. If it doesn't get down there, you keep that 57 cents. And maybe two more weeks from now, you do it in two or three weeks, you do it again. Right. Out two or three weeks. And you keep collecting. And maybe it takes three months to get down to $38. Yeah. Now, not only have you paid for, not only do you take the stock, but now let's say you've got three months, you've got a dollar and a half or two dollars. Exactly. Now your break even price or where you enter is $36. Based on uh, the the short thirty eight put, then if you get put the sock you at any point during this process, you turn that into a covered call, and you sell the call against it. Yeah. And so you you flip it from the cash secured put to the covered call strategy, and and you let time. And the premium in that put worked for you guys. Yeah, it's fabulous. And you know what's so cool here, folks? If, you, if you're watching Tiger TV, I have the chart up here. What that number, this is what, what I loved about this, Kevin. Well, two different things. And that number that you have there, that was the breakout area, too. So that's a normal retracement. That's not the end. You know what I mean? That's what stocks like to do anyway. You know, that's where right. this, this broke top side from, folks. So that's what's so cool is that, you know, you're not chasing something. And if you don't get it, so what? Because the bottom line is that you're going to keep collecting, you know, 50 cents, 30 cents, 70 cents, whatever that is. Right. Um, and then, so let me ask you this. When, when you do something like this, is this, the, 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 do you normally try to do that double? Do you know what I mean? If you sell a cash you could put right off the bat, then you're saying, okay, now I'm going to start selling calls against it. Or, or is this just different on this one? No, you don't do that until after you take the stock. Yeah, because you hit, you'd have upside risk. Oh, that it, if you if, if you sold, see that's a strangle. If yeah. you sell the put and the call, you're uh, exposed on the upside. Now you could sell a call vertical spread yes. against it. Right. That would be risk defined on the upside. Yeah. Right. But you would but you would wouldn't want to just sell the call. Wait till you take the stock. Right. And then you can sell a cash a, a, a covered call against it by itself. Yeah, and if it goes back up, then you remember if you sell a forty call, it would be forty dollars plus the premium that you took in. So remember, each time you exactly. get to use the premium you took in to add to the price. I think it's a great strategy. I just want to point out. I said in you know one of my newsletters, Kevin. I said I don't really need to own any stock in a new entry at thirty seven hundred in the S and P. You know, if you need to own a stock, you can buy it. I think it's a great strategy. We did some mind desire because what if the market it has it all priced in and maybe it's just a period of a consolidation for a while? And I'm putting my own personal bias into this, Kevin, you know, but at thirty seven hundred, man, there might be some great opportunities here. I don't see the market falling apart because we got so much optimism in the future. But I don't know if I see it accelerating higher, man, because it's all priced in. So I'm looking at those, and I think it's a great trade you put together, man. Thanks for going yeah. over. There's an old saying in the option business, Tommy. Let Theta do what Theta does. Yeah. And Perfect. Folks, this, is, this is how crucial it is to listen to the program. I mean, it, this is a whole different strategy. It's not a whole different strategy, but I'm telling you, man, please listen, okay? If you want to be in the option market, man, you get the king of options. I'll uh, teach you every day. For great the, strategy for the, right now. Yeah. yeah. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. Thanks so much, man. Look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank you. Stay Thanks, right there. Kevin. If you're not come currently right using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has just launched our Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. For a limited time, we've doubled all the Tiger Dollar bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars are good for all TFNN newsletters, webinars, and services and never expire. Whether you're a current subscriber or just thinking of signing up for any TFNN products in the future, this is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. Happy holidays from all of us at TFNN. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up 27. NASDAQ is down 23. Uh, we got, uh, there she is, we got the uh, S&Ps flat. And let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Dahl. Steve is the president, f folks, of Taz Market Profile. It's an outstanding program. Uh, you can come over to our website, uh, check this out, test it out right now. You'll see it right under featured content, the Taz Profile Scanner. Steve Dahl, what's going on? Hey, how are you, Tom? Doing, Doing well over here, and uh, just another day in trading paradise. There's, there's no doubt. We're finally we're getting a little movement. I mean, it took a, it took a little bit off off this uh, open, but uh, you know, it's like anything else, man. These moves seem to come out of nowhere, and you know, Europe was uh, basically uh, up slightly uh, to flat this morning, folks. Uh, so we'll see where this baby goes. So if you can just walk the listeners through, Steve. Uh, the profile scanner in general of, of what it and, and folks we all use it here it's, it's an amazing tool uh, but I'd like Steve to walk you through so that you can you can see the power of it how much money that how much time you can save and basically keeping uh, the trend on your side and it's not it's not a, it's not a trend deal so the trend is not the right word to use actually um, but the bottom line is that as he walks you through it you'll see what I'm talking about Exactly. Well, uh, uh, anybody that knows uh, anything about uh, how we learn as uh, humans, not even just as traders, it's uh, we make decisions much faster based on colors than we do on, uh, say, reading something. That's yes. why, of course, your, your stop lights are red, yellow, green, and uh, so is the scanner. Uh, you can make decisions. It's, uh, I read something that said 100 times faster than being able to read it. That's why it doesn't say stop, yield, go. Uh, and that's really kind of the premise of, of the scanner is to save traders time because that's uh, one of our greatest commodities of all. Um, so if, if you're looking in the Tiger's Den, those that are uh, with us live in the den, you can see I have the uh, TAS profile scanner up here and it's uh, showing your usual suspects of the S&P 500 stocks. I've got the NASDAQ here as well and you can also do this for Forex as well as commodities. And what we're able to do very quickly across uh, these four critical time frames which are weekly, daily, four hour and 60 minute hourly time frames is we can quickly identify based upon profiles whether the market's uh, a bullish market 
in that time frame, a bearish market, or in, in balance, and we might expect it to go range-bound for a period of time. So let me just show you how quickly you can narrow the universe of, you know, we're talking about over 600 instruments right here. By a click of a button here, one, two, three, four, um, you can see I've narrowed it down 600 stocks to still quite a few uh, candidates here. In the case of bulls, you can see there's, it uh, looks like maybe about 40 stocks, uh, but let's <laughs> Look Let's at that sea the, of green. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, I mean, my goodness, I, I think that's uh, all smiles for, for anybody that's had, you Just know. Just look uh, at that. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> now, the other side, those of you that are bears, that's uh, th this is what you'll find uh, interesting as well, because I know there's some. I know. <laughs> there's yeah, some that, guys, so guys, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but listen to this, folks, okay? So, pitch it, you know, Tommy, I, Steve, we, you know, a lot of, we use it every day. So, right now, you're looking at, we have, what, three, six, we get seven. So, you know, it's wild, Steve, is that uh, what day, today's Wednesday. On Monday, there were, there were 10. <laughs> so this is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, man. I'm telling you. I think this, if this goes to one, I think I'm just going to sell all my houses and just go shop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go doing that. Don't go doing that because I need a place to stay on your couch when I come visit you oh down in the wintertime God. here. I'm telling you. That, that's pretty amazing, though, right? And see, when, you, when you're looking at there, folks, okay, that is, we're at all-time highs, of course, okay? But this gets skewed a little. Not This doesn't get skewed, but it, once you get used to the scanner, folks, okay, when you see something like this, it's, it's lopsided, okay? We know what it is. I mean, but it's, yeah. it, it's cool to know, Steve, right? You know? It it is. And, you know, it's kind of interesting, you know, when, when the pandemic, uh, you know, crushed the market early on, um, you know, we did just the opposite here where we came yes. in here. We sorted for, even though the market was tanking, we sorted for op, uh, stocks that still were in bullish uh, technical state. And those presented really good opportunities to start looking to buy value, Huge. meaning getting in, getting in at a steep, steep discount. And then, of course, when the market, as it tends to always do, started coming back. The the wave of the bullish market started to basically prop up those. And those were really um, really unique opportunities for those that had a tool like this to be able to find which stocks those were. They are. Otherwise, it's a needle in the haystack, let's face it. I mean, right. you turn on, it's overwhelming. Um, how many of your listeners turn on their stock charts and it's really almost a miracle they, they can find You know, the, the biggest market movers. You need a tool to put those on your radar. And then you got to dive into the charts like you do and I do to, to fine tune it a bit. But, um, you, you know, I'm telling you, yeah. it's, uh, it's a massive time saver. And what happens here, folks, this is what's really cool. So, Pitcher, you know, uh, trade is like different sectors, right? And what, what I've seen in here, which you can pick up pretty, really quickly, actually, is that they, they have the ETF structures in there anyway. So let's say that, you know, you would like a sector, and all of a sudden, one of the equities in the sector starts popping up and wants to go higher. That is a huge heads up, folks, okay? Because they don't all go at once. One goes, the next one goes, the next one, all of a sudden, the whole sector's going. Now, just the opposite on the other side. And Steve just put up all these sectors. And this is really cool because we... I think over the course of your trading, you know, you, you, you trade things that are moving, okay? So all the sectors normally don't move at the same time. That in itself is really cool, Steve, because once they, it picks its nose up, it's like, okay, man, here we go. You know, I mean, and, you know, a couple months ago, it was copper. It was the, the copper stock started moving. I, I looked at it. I says, oh, look at this, man. This, the, it, SCCO was popping up. I says, okay, man. So I went right to FCX. I just, it was like, okay, that popped up. You know, FCX is going to go. And sure enough, it, you know, the baby went. So there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this powerful piece of software, folks, okay, that is right there. You know. it, it is. This is XLE. I have the energy uh, ETF right here. And look at how you can see distinctly that green line starts to climb up the uh, the chart there. And you can see now you got 24 of the stocks in XLE yep. that are bullish in just one single stock that actually is bearish in that big big picture weekly time frame. And look what the market's done. Again, you, you go look at that, that XLE and it's you know, the tools we build, you know, you've been, I was actually just a uh, walk down memory lane. You've been using our products for, it looks like nine years now. Can That's, you believe it, Tom? No, That's I can't. Awesome. That blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to celebrate when it's a decade. I know, um, man. But, it, but this, is, this is what it's all about. You know, it's to save you time as a trader so you can be spending more time on the markets and sectors that are moving and less time on those that are, are going sideways because it's tough to make money in those sideways markets. There's no doubt. And folks, it's very easy to get the profile scanner. Come over to our website right now. Uh, the bottom line is that you're gonna save $100 on the first month. 
Uh, it still comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, so the first month is going to cost $197 nominally. Bottom line, you're just going to put upgrade uh, in the uh, promo code, and what ends up happening is only going to be $97 for the first month. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, bottom line, you're still going to get your money back. So um, it is an amazing tool, folks. Come over to the website. Check it out. You'll be really happy that you did. Steve, you have a great one, a safe one. Uh, we really appreciate the education, appreciate all the work, and stay warm, man. <laughs> yeah, rub it in. See you, partner. <laughs> okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 20, Nasdaq's down 6, S&P's are up 2.5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are up 12. Nasdaq's down 10. S&P is a flat. And here we go. We got some uh, crude inventories, Tom. Uh, crude inventories rose 15.1 million barrels. Uh, look is at that. that. And, they, <laughs> and they were looking for a drawer of 1.85 million. Holy cow. Were they? 
I was trying yeah. to even, yeah, and I, I, I chuckle because I got the chart up there and I knew it was a little bit more than the market anticipated because crude just dropped 50 cents. And we have not seen crude really react that much to these EIA numbers through this pandemic. Right. Um, and yeah, it just dropped 50 cents, still at 45.62 on my chart. But yeah, crude rising 15 million barrels, man. That's quite a pop. That's, that's a pop and a half, man. Holy cow. Pretty wild, man. Hey, how about uh, just some of the stocks I was looking at today, right? We had Chewy out with their numbers last night. I mean, quite a resurgence this morning. Just the volatility on some of these companies. CHWY uh, is their symbol. Strong numbers. They only lost, I think, eight pennies versus 21. I was just interested. Um, did not have a trade in this, but interested to see how it's going. And the, the resurgence somehow it traded lower, almost to 74. But just like that, man, we're up to $80 all-time highs, uh, I believe, right now, going on as we speak. Well, yeah, um, yeah for that food retailer. That's pretty amazing, man. I mean, dog food, cat food, pet food is expensive, man. That's the real bottom line. Uh, what did you say, cat food? Cat food, dog food. I mean, it, it, well, it's all expensive. That's, I know you have a little, folks, you, you, you know, might not know this, but he's got a little zoo at his house. Exactly. <laughs> um, of, of animals that run around there, and it's not just Harley, right? Right, exactly. So, I mean, look at the, look at the numbers on this, man. Four years ago, they're two, 2.1 billion. This year, 6.8 billion. Monster numbers. And they're still losing money, though. That's crazy. Holy cow. Yeah, and they barely lost this. Uh, where are, was it, is it showing one? I th they barely lost, I think, was their earnings per share um, versus them expected. Yeah, yeah it I looks think like they're a, still it looks like a penny. On, right, they lost a penny or something. Yeah. That's, right. I, it's weird. You know, yeah. it's been all over the place. I, I think I saw eight cents somewhere. I saw it was a penny there. Somehow they, they beat. They did. But, but they, you know, I, I said as before, and this is why. Kevin Hink's strategy, man, you know, this would be one of the stocks that, depending on your bias, right? You yes. said, geez, this thing, I love this thing, right? I want to buy this thing. Do right. I need to own this thing at 80? No. Right. I know. I don't need to own Chewy at $80, folks, you know? Right. Um, you can want to own it. You do not need to, as in you're not missing out on an opportunity of a lifetime right. by not buying Chewy four times what it was trading at in March. Still could be a good investment, but that's why I love some of those strategies, man. Um, and this type of equity, no reason you couldn't, you know, with the volatility in here, same thing. Maybe you're selling 65 or $70 puts. Maybe you're selling 60 for just pennies, but you say, ah, I guess what? I don't want to buy it till it gets back down to 60. Right. Um, right. Strong, strong, strong equity there. It for sure. really is. So let's yeah. take a look at some of the higher volume equities. And it doesn't look like we're going to have volume again today, but let's see. So you get American Airlines up 44 cents. Um, Apple's up 77. Apple's had a lot of movement, too. Keep going. And, yeah. and, and we'll go back to that. It has had a lot of movement. And they're trading Apple in Larry's uh, I saw that. I webinar was in there right for now. the exactly. hour, man. Yeah. That's, that's, and so we'll give you a little, I'll give you a little hint, folks, okay? Larry was waiting for a, 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 a number um, of a patent setting up, and they got it. <laughs> so now the question is going to be, you know, we'll see whether they're going to make money on it. But the bottom you line is the that... follow through, right? Yeah. When you had this pop higher this morning, that's what they were looking for. And yes. uh, it went to what? It went to 95, and I think they shot it at either 25 or 65. So bottom yeah, line... Yeah, I think it's 125.35, yeah, if you're going to put it, it up. It's, it's working right now. That's the bottom line. The thing that's amazing, that, and it was so cool about what Larry does, it's patent recognition, so you know what the number is when the patent sets up prior to it, folks. And that, so those are That's the best in. thing. Clarity. Yeah. Clarity, man. I don't want right. to spend the day worrying about where upward or downward, right, that we, we set your targets. You set it, you have the formation, you know if you're right or wrong, you're yep. making probability wagers, man. Yep, no doubt. Um, this one here, now, they, uh, uh, folks, if you haven't test driven the Tigers, then you should just get in there. I mean, we get some Tigers and Tigresses that are on fire in here, and they've been trading this one. And look at this one. This is like sick. So QS is the number, right? It's the only reason I know about it is the Tigers. Dan. That, there's ahead. no doubt. Uh, I'm in Boston Dan, right? That's I mean, right. this is like a freaking rocket ship, okay? So in two weeks, the stock has gone from $20 to 87 and the bottom line, it has something that, you know, it looks like the markets want. And it has to do with, it's a different type of lithium metal battery. Um, that's, that's the number here. The low for the year is 974. The high is 87. And, you know, they, it doesn't look like they have any revenue yet. But, you know, nice trading stock, man. I mean, in a big way. And they really hit a home run with that one. Holy cow, man. 
Yeah, so supposedly they get positive e electric vehicle battery data, just headlines in the positive all over the place for that stock. Yeah. yeah, well, so the way I was reading about it yesterday, so the way that supposedly this is working with this company, folks, is that lithium batteries will only last so long. This, if, if this is what's going on with this company, is that let's say you normally have an 80 minute charge to get charged up to like 90%, right? And this company, that's a 15 minute charge that these batteries are totally different. And now here's the kicker. The batteries they're using right now in Tesla, you know, a couple hundred miles. These go thousands of miles, thousands. So the bottom line is that after I've seen them trading a the time, I said, okay, I gotta find out what this thing is, man. Um, yeah, and I, I pulled up an article. There's a lot of uh, jargon that I'm not completely familiar with, but I do see that uh, plating 15 microns of lithium in 15 minutes at a current density of 16 milliampers per centimeter squared. There you go. Totally. It said everything. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, you're right. I mean, that's, no. it seems to be at least um, you don't have to understand it. What it seems like you do have to understand is they're presenting their data in public yeah. about their technology, and it's good. To it's, say the it's, least, it's right? huge because the, yeah. uh, the the challenge in electric has always been the batteries, you know. And listen, I can tell you, you know, we've been talking about the iPhone. Have you got your iPhone yet? Or no, is it still shipping. I still don't have it. I know. It's all right. It's in. It's in. Yeah. Bezos is controlling his trucks. It'll be there when it gets there. Yeah. Um, but no, what I was going to say is the the battery alone, the 12 Pro Max, um, with the new charging technology they have. Okay. And I, it's it takes an hour and a half for a completely full charge. Completely. Um, and the battery is much longer. As in, I think I went almost two days, the last one. Just oh, that's uh, cool. so two days, and it takes you an hour and a half. And I literally find myself, you know, sometimes, folks, you feel like you're you're chained to a charger, right? Because you need that phone battery if I'm I'm remote, whatever it is. Yeah. And I don't feel that actually as much anymore because I could actually put it down during the day and almost get a full charge in an hour. I take a lunch break, I can separate from my phone, yeah. I come back, it's charged. It actually really affects how you think of things. On a car, it's probably even more so, but oh. that technology. Now, Apple, as an aside, they're getting away with, uh, maybe not murder, man, but they're getting away with stealing some profits that they might not deserve in terms of, you don't have, they give you a cord, okay? Yeah. Now, the cord goes from the... USB that we're all familiar with on the newest Apples okay. to, I believe it's called USB-C. Okay. So it doesn't go to USB. It used to go from Yeah, you need USB another thing, right? I saw that. And you have to buy the power adapter to maximize for about $20. Um, 20 bucks? Oh, that's hilarious. To be able to use the chart. Now, these work with our old chargers, okay? Oh, they, they do? The one, you, the the one we sit them on, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. but no, not even the one you sit on. It can work with the regular previous iPhone charger, but if you want that fast charging that yeah. they tout, you gotta go buy the the power adapter that plugs in um, for 20 bucks. Wow. Well, Apple, they're doing just fine. They know what they're doing. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come back with Teddy Kegstack. We are gonna be talking currencies. Come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has just launched our Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. For a limited time, we've doubled all the Tiger Dollar bonuses where you can now get up to a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars are good for all TFNN newsletters, webinars, and services and never expire. Whether you're a current subscriber or just thinking of signing up for any TFNN products in the future, this is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. Happy Holidays from all of us at TFNN. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down three. You get the NASDAQ off 22. S&Ps are off uh, one and a half. And uh, they're pushing these IPOs out, Tom. Can't blame them, man. We're, we're, are we going to hit 4,000 in the S&P before the year end? What's going on here? Um, yeah, it's only 300 points away from where we are, man. <laughs> hey, we're up 500 points from where we were um, the beginning of November. I know. I know. Yeah. I, amazing. Uh, there's, no, is. there's no doubt. N no doubt. Hey, Thank jumping around to some of the stocks that I saw moving, um, L Brands, I mean, the, the run just continues in some of these stocks, man. So they got an upgrade from Moody's talking about that uh, the outlook from positive, from two positive, from negative, improved operational performance. Um, some of these stocks, man, the, the percentages of the moves, right? I, I mean, know. You, you just, you were dealing with bankruptcy. Yep. And now you're dealing with a flourishing company that's positioned with strong brands that cut their costs and is firing on all cylinders to come out of COVID. Um, that's going to spin off Bed Bath, no, Bath and Body Works. I always, and um, it's just remarkable, you know, that uh, because then what happens is you get upgrades, right? The upgrades boost the price. You become a more a stronger company. I mean, Tesla's the best example of them all, man. Exactly. It just keeps going higher. Companies have to upgrade. People jump on. And then they're finally positioned where it's self-fulfilling prophecy almost um, once you turn that corner. But just remarkable, the run they've had. And then this one, it makes me jump out restoration hardware as well, man. Have you seen that one? Ooh. Look at this run. It doesn't stop. So this is cool. Look at my chart here, right? Yeah. I haven't looked at this chart probably from October 8th. That's when the trend line stopped. Okay. So that means that's when it was current. Okay, the last time I had this thing up. Yeah. Well, check this out, folks. When you say simplicity, let's just extend that drawing to the right and extend that drawing to the right and it made it right back in that channel line man and it is quite a channel from 73 to it, 500 bucks for restoration hardware it is it's amazing yeah. and you know the, the when you when you look at this is that yeah so march it was at 78 72 dollars yes and you're at 488 yeah. Then, and this this really came on my radar. I'm familiar with it, but when Buffett loaded into it, man, that's when I started really looking at this stock. Um, and man, it was a max pain situation down to 73. But he was in this thing in the beginning of the year. I just remember him taking some type of position. I can't oh, remember yeah. what. Yeah. Um, and just just uh, gangbusters, man. Positioned so well for 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 how things happen in terms of you know. <laughs> The, the well-offs being better off and, and, and working from home and, and Restoration Hardware being just such a premium brand product. Um, and and he, so, he, so he owns 8.75% of it. He owns 1.7 okay, million shares. Substantial, yeah. All right, right there, 1.7 million shares. Fidelity owns 14.6% of it, 2.8 million shares. And that, look at this. When, when, uh, when uh, I'm looking at, when, when is that from Berkshire? Uh, 
That's yeah. nine thirty. Yeah, it, it probably goes back. That's just their quarterly filing. They added nothing to that. I wonder when that position was initiated. My point was going to be that no matter what, man, they're up. You know, that's just uh, an amazing position to be up that much money from. It is. Even prior to COVID, you were at about two hundred to two twenty-five. Thirty. So if we go back to, we can do this right now. August, September. We go back to June. So he had to buy it between June and June, July, August. Yeah, June. No, 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 no. They have. They there was no change. He's had that position. See. 9.30. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I see. Right. That's the, that's yeah. the, it goes back. He's, yeah. I believe he was in that in like January or February. Because right. that's when I said, man, that's that's what he's buying that many shares. Or I better look at this stock, man. Um, yeah. And he didn't know what COVID It's a strong company anyway. And that's what we're seeing, right? If you were a strong company ahead of this and you were positioned well, you're coming out a much stronger company you um, are. In, and, in the end. And if we go back to L Brands for a second, it is about brand. I mean, that's, you know, the the pink, the, what is it, Victoria's Secret, right? Sure. That's, you know, they, they get both of them covered there, folks, okay? Oh. There's, there's a huge spread in those clothes anyway, I mean, because they're worth like three cents a piece and they sell them for $30 oh, a piece. Right. <laughs> and then talk about um, Bath and Body Works. I actually went to their site uh, like Monday or Tuesday of Cyber Monday, right? I love those yeah. candles they have that are like, Ninety-five dollars. I joke, probably like thirty dollars. Okay. But they have some great sales on them, um, and they were only selling those candles on Friday, online. And then they said everything was sold out because they wanted to try and get people into the stores. Right? You use it wow. probably as the leader to get people in. But it was also pretty interesting that they could sell as many as those as they wanted online at that sale price. I think they maxed it out as a, an eighteen maximum for that product. Um, that's a strong product, man, when you refuse to sell it online because you're trying to bring people into the stores because it just sells out I didn't so know dramatically the candles so, so good. That's great to know, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what happens with candles, folks? They're like, they're like PO1 candles. I wouldn't ever buy a PO1 candle because they blow up, folks. Okay? You know, I stopped buying them like 10 years ago. Uh, they're dangerous, basically. And that's with candles in general. You've got to be really... <laughs> Yeah, and the ones you're talking about, I think you have problems with, are just the huge, super huge wax ones with no glass on the outside, right. where it creates exactly. like an air bubble that, 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 that could form. Um, and yeah. that's the one thing. These these ones I'm talking about, the three wick candles, the little glass, they're beautiful, you know, yeah. the little glass cylindrical. Right. Um, right. But they're so expensive, no matter what, man. But the holiday season, they're usually like, 15 bucks off something but i just happened to see i said man that's interesting right i can't they won't even sell me those candles right now online because they have such strong demand for them that's powerful um, that is yeah. def that is definitely powerful so the yeah you know, we got a sideways market out here today folks that's the bottom line we'll see uh how the rest of this shakes out but realistically uh <laughs> you know when you get the s p's down seven or eight points that's nothing man that's just laying at highs hey and i'll jump one Sorry, I was just going to say, I'll jump to, how about GameStop? Um, I know. Down almost 18% today, man. It's been such a run from $2. This is one of the companies that was going to go BK um, during COVID. They're in a tough scenario anyway, trying to compete in the you know digital gaming network of, of what they're up against. Um, but tough numbers, down like 20% um, from yeah. where they were just yesterday. And you see the shrinking revenue, man. You see the losses that they've got. Huge. Yeah, that nine point four billion five years ago and eight five point five this year. I just don't know how they compete, man. I don't. You know, if you're a trader, this is great. You got volatility everywhere, man. You just went from twelve dollars on November nineteenth to nineteen dollars back to fourteen. But if you're an investor, I like to pick stocks. And I'm fairly certain that they serve a purpose that they'll be around for five years. And, and like, I can't make that argument with GameStop, man. Doesn't mean it won't happen, but there's a very real chance that they don't need to to be in any capacity um, to deliver value you know, um, anywhere in that chain. I know, man. I mean, it's, That's, it's, if I'm going to buy and listen, I'm in my 40s. OK, so I, I think I, I probably don't get the full gaming. But nowadays, man, there's a lot of people in their 30s, at least that are gaming pretty hardcore. Oh, yeah. Um, and and I could see myself, you know, maybe buying one of the updated consoles because they're just coming out. Right. They'll be super up to date for years to come or something. But I'm not going to do it at GameStop. If I do, I'm probably going to pull up Target, Walmart, Amazon. Exactly. Right. Like that's so just from a, a forefront. Um, and then let alone I've played Fortnite. Right. I've played. I've. I've. Uh, I think I spent five or ten dollars once in Fortnite. So, yeah. you know, yeah, I'm not spending money at GameStop. It's pretty amazing, man. You yeah. know, you know, it's amazing. I just realized. So, oh my God, I can't remember the name of the first computer that I actually got you. So that would be like 35 years ago. I think you were five. And, oh, a Commodore. It was a Commodore, man. That's it what it was. Be. It was a Commodore. And it's just so funny, man, how, you know, things, 
you know, once they started going up, man, they just kept going. Yeah, it was the Commodore 64. That's what it was. There man. you go. I love it, man. Craziness, I know. I know. Just like yesterday, man. <laughs> not really. That, well, hey, that's a company, right? Where'd they go? They're not around. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. We get the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 32. NASDAQ is off 9. S&P's off 2.5. We'll come right back. in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar's worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow's uh, down 35, Nasdaq's off 10, S&P's are off 2.5. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, we have our Tiger Dollar sale going. If you get products from TFNN right now, you're looking to get any in the future, it's a great way to save quite a bit of money. Uh, this is going to end on December 20th. The way Tiger Dollars work is that uh, you get bonuses. Uh, you, if you spend $500, you get $600. That's a 20% bonus or an extra $100 uh, to buy product. Uh, if you spend a thousand, you get thirteen hundred, which is a thirty percent bonus, or three hundred dollars. And if you buy fifteen hundred, you get twenty one hundred, which is the max, is a six hundred dollar bonus. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. We had a question about gold, Tom. Uh, gold's down twenty two bucks, folks. You get dollar up sixty four ticks. You know, my take is that yeah, we're still in an ABC structure in the way up. What you've already done with gold out here today is that you rejected lower price. Uh, GC, one second, GCG. Uh, you're going to see we already rejected lower price out here at 1840 or at 1851. 
Um, you back down with lighter volume. Uh, the real kicker is going to be like, okay, what does this dollar want to do? The dollar is basically laying at these lows, and you know you get a sideways move out here today. So we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. But that is divergence in a, in a big way, no doubt. And of course, Larry's doing his workshop. They are growling and prowling out there on the workshop, uh, and and we'll see where the rest of this market's going, man. I mean, you know, right now you get a sideways move out here. Oh, DoorDash. DoorDash is going to. Uh, that's going to be going up any second. Now, that's going to be a 35% gain right on the open. That's what it looks like. DoorDash is going to price out at $140 to $145, and the IPO last night was $102. So the way an IPO goes, folks, is that they priced it the night before. If you got the stock, you get the stock at $102, you open at $140. Not bad, huh? So that number just keeps going up, too. It was like $95, then it was $102. Now it's going to open. Good for them. Yeah, I'm amazing. Folks, stay right there. We got Think and Swim coming up next. And I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Yeah, look at him, folks. Right.